here come the tears. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 America's Next Top Model Makeover Meltdowns. For this list, we're looking at moments from the hit reality series when models were given makeovers and the end result was tears. Lots of tears. When your employability depends on your looks, even a bad haircut could lead to a serious career slump. If you don't see a moment you think should be on here, be sure to check out our first video on the topic. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Melrose Bickerstaff She may have come runner-up in the 2006 season of the show, but don't let that second place finish fool you. She throws a first-rate tantrum when she doesn't get what she wants. It's not gonna look good, blonde. Why? Because I just feel like my hair pops out with, with dark features. Melrose was known for her stunning dark brown locks, so when she was forced to go blonde during makeovers, well, she had a bit of a breakdown. Melrose really is just a control freak. A lot of young girls that try to over control the situation, they don't go too far. It didn't go unnoticed either, with Jay calling her a serious control freak and implying that in order for her career to take off, she'd have to give up her rigid nature and trust the professionals. We think she still looks great with blonde hair, but Mel? No, not so much. Number 9. Alina Ivanova we have a feeling that if we asked Alina what her favorite color was after this makeover, it wouldn't have been red. And honestly, we can't blame her. It's not her best look, to be sure. I just don't feel like myself, you know? It's just it's not me, and I don't know how to deal with it. But was it so bad that it took her identity away, as she claimed? Absolutely not. Adding mounds and mounds of curly, fluffy red hair on her slim figure didn't really work that well. I'm not angry that I have this look, it's just... I don't look like myself anymore. But thankfully, it was only hair extensions and not a dye job. Now that would have been a crying shame. Oh well, at least she made it to the top five finalists that season. Number eight, Natalie Pack. If you're an aspiring model and you're known for your long brunette locks, we could totally see losing your cool if someone wanted to chop all your hair off. Scissors. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. I know it's gonna be extremely short and that's something that I'm not comfortable with. But luckily for season 12's Natalie, it was all just a joke on Jay's part to teach her a lesson about trust. Oh, wait. No, I can't, dude, I can't. Just put your head down, please. I can't do this. <laughs> the only problem was Natalie wasn't in on the joke, and she didn't trust him, so she lost it. Refusing to let the hairdresser close enough to her hair, she tucked her head in her hands, started to cry, and flat out refused. When we first saw you in casting, we went, model, head to toe, we don't need to do anything. The real lesson here is you gotta trust the people you work with. We're not making decisions for shock value. And she looked pretty embarrassed after learning it was all a joke. Number seven, Eva Marcel. Sometimes the anticipation to an event can be worse than the actual event itself. Take going to your in-laws, for example. Eva, I love the fact that your hair is short. I think we need to kind of shape it and take it a little bit shorter. And this was exactly the case with season three's Eva when she was asked to make her already short hair a little shorter. It's gonna be little and blonde, like a little white boy. I don't wanna look like a little boy. I just not gonna be able to change it. I just don't wanna look ugly, you know? She didn't take the news very well, crying and saying she didn't wanna, quote, look like a boy. This is the big time, and the big time is about, like, making really big changes. Despite being comforted by Tyra, Eva begrudgingly went through with the process. And guess what? She actually liked it in the end. I'm okay now. I love the way it came out. I love the results of the color. All those tears and all that stress for nothing. She ended up winning the season, too. Number 6. Kari Calhoun Kari didn't make it that far into the 21st season of the show, finishing 11th overall, and we can't help but feel that this makeover didn't do her any favors. It's just extremely different. Mm -hmm. It's like such a shock, it was just kind of like too much. I don't feel attractive at all. As a natural brunette, Kari's look just worked for her and her unique features. My forehead looks so big. But after an intense bleach blonde dye job, yep, eyebrows too, she came out the other end looking, well, interesting. It's a major change. It's a major it is. But you look beautiful. Go. Sure, the fact that her face is flushed and red from crying didn't help the new look, but we honestly can't blame her. She's totally justified for losing her cool, and we don't know what the stylists were thinking here. Number 5. Brittany Hatch 
This makeover is yet another example of, we really can't blame the model for being upset with her new look. Britney's short brown hair and cute face were a match made in heaven. Britney with a puffy red weave, however? Ow, 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 ow. I never thought getting my hair done would be such a long ordeal because I would never do this to myself. Well, even Jay admitted it was a mistake, and we totally agree. Add to it the fact that the now infamous weave was too tight and had to be removed later, and this makeover has to go down as one of the worst ever. My head hurts so bad. You know what's funny about Britney? She wants sympathy from others, and I'm like so sick of it already. It's not like we've never seen Britney cry during season eight. Remember the epic cab meltdown? Believe this. But at least this time she was justified. Number four, Bianca Golden. Let's face it, for Bianca to make it to the top four spot after being forced to shave her head due to her hair being damaged from perms and dyes, well, that's one hell of an accomplishment. This is emotion, like this is really hurting me. And we totally felt for her when she had to watch all the other girls get incredible makeovers while she sat crying and had her head buzzed. I never cut my hair drastically on my life. Just a shot. To be honest, she handled the entire situation extremely well, and this meltdown is yet another one that's totally justified in the end. I was supposed to build my coffee. I just came out the bottom too. Now I don't got no hair. And hair or no hair, Bianca still rocked her look. Number three, Cherish Waters. With her bright red hair as her defining feature and eight years of modeling under her belt, Cherish felt her look was solidified. This is, this is my hair. This is every, every strand is a different color. It's gold, it's yellow, it's red. So when stylists wanted her to dye her naturally red hair even redder, she wasn't too happy. Nobody has this hair, so you're going to bottle my hair to make it that everyone can get? Nor was she happy that she was booted off the show at the end of the episode, finishing a disappointing 13th overall when she didn't even want to do the makeover to begin with. Christian and Cherish, can you please step forward? Yeah, sure, go. So she told the judges just that in a sit-down interview after being eliminated, telling them they were foolish for letting her go as she was obviously the best contestant and should be America's next top model. Who do you think should have went home the week that you went home? Um, definitely not me, because I killed it. Um, let's see. Number two, Brenda Ahrens. Unlike most contestants on this list, Brenda approached her upcoming makeover with confidence and hope, trusting in Tyra to make the right stylistic choice. But this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm just gonna trust that Tyra knows what she's doing. How sharp is this razor? Very sharp. But that confident attitude certainly didn't last long once those lovely red locks started falling to the floor. My heart sank. I couldn't help it. I was just crying. Your hair, it made you look a little older. Seeing her hair get shorter and shorter, Brenda completely broke down and drew the stares of her fellow competitors. Some in sympathy and some not. She literally looked like she'd lost a loved one in a tragic accident during her haircut. But luckily, she tried to make the most of it and eventually finished eighth. Oh my gosh. I gotta relearn. Like, I have to reprogram my mind. I know it sounds so dramatic, but it really is a dramatic change. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Gina Turner. Sometimes the stylist's makeovers are hard to come to grips with for these models. And then there's an instance like this one where an underlying condition causes tremendous emotional upheaval for a contestant. Let me see your face. It's beautiful. Ah, it's beautiful. Gina was hiding the fact that she suffers from alopecia and wears a wig when she models. The stylists wanted to remove the wig to show off her true beauty, which couldn't have been an easy move for Gina. And it resulted in tears all around. I feel like the whole world can see me now. Like I can see myself now. Gina's crying, Law and Drew are crying, everyone is crying. This is actually quite a touching human moment on the show. And if any of these entries deserved a meltdown, it's this one. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.